Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of match day 38. Yes, please indulge me. We get the background a second time. Uh, Milan are champions. Milan are champions. It's all I can say. I recorded uh, yesterday in the evening my immediate reaction to the title win. Still very happy. Still cannot believe it. I, what annoys me honestly. Um, and this is not is not a slight against the Premier League at the moment, but you know most of the podcasts that I listen to, of course, English speaking. I am thirsty for a little bit more on Milan's title win. I mean, I'm reading and it's on. It, you all wanna you wanna soak it all in, but I feel like it's so little. And everyone is talking about the great title. Uh, yes, it was probably the Premier League was had had, had a better end to the season. Uh, I have to say the Serie A end was rather unitalian. There was not much drama except for very very late. There was a little bit. But it was more or less dramaless this uh, last match day. And in the table, nothing changed. So uh, in that sense, yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't want to say it was a letdown, but everyone, yeah, talk uh, Premier League. Milan went to Sassolo and unlike Manchester City, they just rolled over them. And I really think it's Sassuolo, at least for the first 10-15 uh, minutes, uh, tried to give it their all. And especially the goalie Consigli tried to save everything he could. This was a super dominant performance. I want to hear more of it. I also think this is a, a much greater story. Yes, M uh, all the credit to the Guardiolas and Klops. They built the two best teams in the world. No doubt about it. But what about Pioli? This is a story I want to hear more about. I want to hear that this is discussed more. And I know it probably has to do with TV rights, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> but I sung the praises. I actually want to make this a little bit more a general review. Yes, it will always be Milan tinged. It will always be Milan tinged in on this channel. But at least uh, go through it. I, as I said, nothing really changed in the table. Um, and there was a big chance at the end in probably the you know the most primal decision. Winning a championship is just happiness. It's just uh, glory, but uh, you feel it, uh, you know, you're just afloating. The amount of relief that you get when you're not getting relegated, this is a much more primal feeling. And I think it was smart of Serie A to keep this for last. It was not a great finale. However, uh, how often do you see fans celebrating after a 4 nil loss? And I gotta say, I probably will say it again uh, uh, once we get to get, get, get the game. The most galling thing for Cagliari has to be, has to be. You did not get your job done. The first thing is you need to do your job and then hope that the results fall your way. But the worst thing is that the other results fall your way and you cannot get your job done. And then you don't deserve to stay up in the league. It is as simple as that for me. So yeah, uh, you see here the results of the final match. I mean, Roma got a really nice send-off uh, for the Conference League final. Yes, the preview will come up uh, Wednesday morning for that one. I already made it, but you know, I uh, my plan now is to first uh, to do this area, then do the Premier League, and then I finish up with um, uh, Spain a little bit later. Because there also was quite some drama happening. Uh, newly relegated Genoa loses also at home to Bologna. Atalanta finished their awful season. And, you know, this is now for the three that were for the Euro for, for the European spots. Um, with a 1-0 loss to Empoli, which allowed them Fiorentina with a 2-0 win over Juve. The sweetest win for any Fiorentina fan is a win over Juve. And also when it means so much because now Fiorentina is in the Conference League. European football is back in Florence, which is a great thing to see. Both goals came late in each half. One by Duncan, uh, one by Gonzalez, a penalty. Haven't seen much of it, but um, I can only imagine that it was heated. It was, there was a lot of bile thrown around, as is always between those, especially when it's played in Florence. And the scenes were very happy at the end with Florence qualifying for Europe again. Um, is this now the change where Fiorentina are going to take, overtake Atalanta? Uh, I would hold my horses. I think Atalanta were just too injury prone, had too t a few tough seasons. I actually think that not having to play in Europe for Atalanta may actually not be the worst thing coming next season. But we'll see about that. 
of course. Um, we're still staying in this season. Uh, it should have been entertaining between Lazio and El Hellas Verona. A 3-3 draw. Again, didn't see much. Um, we... I saw some highlights of Inter's uh, win against Sampdoria. Honestly, Inter was disappointing, especially for the first half. They should have taken uh, the lead sooner. It was You had kind of this feeling that the Inter players themselves did not really believe that Milan uh, are going to trip up because uh, there was nothing really happening in the first half except for a few missed chances and uh, some really bad misses. There. However, after the half, Perisic and then a, a brace within a few minutes by Correa. Uh, send it Inter's way, who end their season on a good note. But again, you have to go back to the game in Bologna. And um, I think um, goalie uh, reserve goalie Radu has at least um, the, the you know you you can tell him yes your mistake was horrendous yes this cost us the game it did not cost the title because Milan won out. If it was have been finished level on points, then this uh, this goal would, would have been crucial. But even the draw, and I heard it too today, it was wrong. No, uh, in the end, it was inconsequential in the sense, except for momentum, because now Milan had the, the tiebreaker um, in their hands uh, and could deal with that as well. But you know, just saying, uh, Inter can console themselves with I, I, with a uh, Coppa Italia trophy. And yeah, uh, Milan have, have been the better team uh, over the season. I truly believe so. Inter just too inconsistent, especially uh, the run early in the year when they had really those tough games, you know, that they had a really, really tough favorite. That cost them. And Inter did not respond well to that. They largely won the title last season because they didn't have any European commitments anymore. So yeah, uh, they have the strong squad. Milan this season definitely had the best team. So, uh, Sassuolo Milan, I think I said it all, a super dominant performance, especially in the first half. My only uh, two small grabs. I really, I really don't want to pull on that party in any way because it was just so glorious. It should have been six or seven at the half. And Slaton did not, Slaton's goal was disallowed. I just want to say that. Other than that, uh, Leao uh, assisting more or less all three goals. I didn't mention I really liked that Cassie scored the final goal and he could get his send off. Um, and he did not get booed for that point. Um, I know this, had, this is a little bit of a sour spot for more for most, if not all, Milan fans that uh, the way he's leaving, but you know, this is the modern way, and I think we have to live with it. Um, at least he's not joining another Serie A team like other vermin did last uh at, at the change of the last season so uh i i'm i'm kind of okay with it also let's face it um i think his season was not great he had a lot to do because he played at the olympics and then afcon and so he was overplayed uh he was a player that i absolutely adored last season i actually even said if, if i would get one if i would get one play a jersey with one player on the back it would be cassie for last season this season it actually was good. I mean, he was a vital piece at the end, but it was actually, I think, not so uh, bad in the end to see that his season was not that great and that you could build something else as well and there will be replacements coming in. Now, if he will be able to join Barcelona, that's another reason. And maybe there might be a Mbappé-like uh, turn to turn around. Let's see about all that. But personally, I felt quite happy about it, really. So, yeah. Uh, the other thing, uh, I understand Milan fans are absolutely crazy and you want to celebrate. And I probably should do another video because it has been rampant all over. Do not storm on the pitch. I mean, if I was a Milan player celebrating there, I would be uh, ter ter terrified from claustrophobia. Because in all the emotions, I totally understand it. You are happy. This is there to celebrate. Uh, it is so dangerous that you can injure your, your player. I mean, I saw it when Pioli took probably his granddaughter uh, to uh, run through the stands and she was not happy. And, you know, all the, the, the people around, it was not a scene that was very, um, very nice to see in a way. Um, but yeah, I can understand. I, I, I can understand the emotion. I have once been in, you know, the most, most I have already also stormed the pitch after a game. 
it's all right but you know uh, that was 5000 people and not 20000 people storming onto one field uh the title celebrations i absolutely loved you could see who are the party animals you could absolutely see who are the part honey. those are the ones the Giroux, the slatons and so on that came out with the big champagne bottles and the cigars in mouth uh and i absolutely loved it when theo hernandez just shot pioli with champagne before he got his medal in it is just you could see the relief on there and i absolutely have to say I really would like to hear what Maldini thought because I have the feeling that this might be, of all the titles that he was involved with, this might be the most satisfying one. It must have been because you were responsible to build the team. Yes, you could not play, but you built this team together uh, with everyone else. And so, yeah, uh, it must have felt absolutely great. Um, those celebrations will stay long for me. I will absolutely stay along with me. Uh, it's even funny, my daughter today in school, the older one, she wore her Milan jersey. I'm a very proud father. And she even came home, they had some uh, crafts uh, class and she made a little Serie A trophy and brought it home. So happy father, happy father. So yeah, Milan win the title uh, and I could talk for hours about it, but let's not. Let's go to the last decision, um, which was for relegation. It was a fight between Salentana and Cagliari. It basically boiled down to this. Um, Cagliari needed Salentana to lose and get a win. And lose Salentana did big time to Udine. And I talked to my work colleague last week, who is a huge Cagliari fan. He was very pessimistic because... He, uh, because not of the constellation, although he thought that Salentale will beat Udinese, he was more that Cagliari is not a proper team. And he was really right in that. And you could see that. Salentale was also not, I mean, they were, they, it got to them. They were down 3 0 at the half through De Lefeo, Nestorowski, and Udogi. Uh, Imperiera missed the penalty and then uh, they made it late on 4 0. Uh, through Pereira then himself in the 57th. However, I watched the second half of Venezia against Cagliari and I gotta tell you, Venezia was just there to, to, to defend. They had their few counter-attacks that were uh, rather uh, amateurishly played. Cagliari just needed to get one goal, but there was no cohesion whatsoever there. It was really, really flat from Cagliari. There was not even, I mean, there were a half chance. There was not, there was not the one chance to say, oh, this was a huge miss. No, it was really, really, really bad. And you could see there was no belief in this team. There was absolutely no, no belief. And I talked to her to, 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 uh, because she said, maybe they're now ner nervous because uh, they know we we, 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 we the window through. I said, this should be motivation. If I was the coach, I just uh, would, would, would tell them, the others are losing 3-0. You can do this. Get this job done. There was no job there. This was so incoherent. And I completely understood my work colleague's point. This is not a good Cagliari team and I'm really, really sad, not only for him, but also for Cagliari itself, because this to me is one of those uh, institutions in Italy that should always be in the league, similar to Genoa, although Genoa is a team that has been for uh, years now, always kind of threatened, been threatened with relegation or so on. So um, I'm not so super sad about Genoa going down at this moment. Uh, although I think, I hope they can rebuild, they have a new ownership and I hope they get a reasonable um, maybe there, there's a chance because a, gen, a general team should belong to Serie A for sure. But so does Cagliari. But not this Cagliari. This was deserved and um, it is a miracle escape because, I mean, uh, Salernitana were down and out. Even uh, by April you thought they will not make it. And then suddenly, suddenly, I mean, I think er, uh, early January, I think uh, or, Earlier this year, they made this 2-2 against Milan, which you thought maybe, but then they were plodding along and then suddenly something happened in April. They flipped the switch and they gained the point suddenly. A great escape by coach Nicola again. And he fully, fully deserved that. As for Venezia, they had a good start to the season, but then ultimately fell flat. And um, 
I really would like to see Venezia in Serie A, to be honest. But um, and I really think what they're doing with branding themselves as this fash super fashionable team is not a bad strategy overall. However, I think I want to see first results on the pitch before I go all out. And I understand with that stadium and you know uh, with all the tourists coming in, this probably a route you gotta you gotta go. But I was for Venezia. I think my overarching feeling is. Um, I, it was glorious to go for one season in Serie A and that I had this jersey from last season and I could parade it around in my background. So yeah, uh, in that sense, um, it ended how it had to end in many, many ways. Now, um, we know now who is going down. This is, of course, uh, we said uh, Cagliari, uh, Genoa and Venezia. Let's see uh, who is coming up for uh, just a sec. Um, we have already two fixed promoted teams in Lecce and Cremonese. I actually find Cre uh, Cremonese quite interesting. I think it was uh, Gianluca Vialli's overall team. And then uh, we have the playoffs, which are still ongoing, where we have a final between Pisa and Monza. Interesting. For sure. Uh, part of Pisa was the three seed, Monza was the four seed, so th third, third or fourth. I actually, it's a two-legged final. I actually wouldn't mind to get Monza in, uh, just because the Ber the Berlusconi Galliani co 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 connection and uh, a sure six points for Milan and hopefully zero for Inter. Uh, on the other side, I would find it also weird. Would be nice to see Pisa up there. Another destination city added there, and let's see what they come up with. Probably a jersey with a leaning tower. In any case, I want to conclude Serie A for here. I will do, once we know all this, I will definitely do um, a roundup video for Serie A uh, dedicated where we look at performances and so on. This will come all next week, probably, or, you know, in the course of next week uh, and, uh, before I take an extensive uh, break. But yeah, uh, it's my officially last video. Um, a, a, a really interesting, uh, but not necessarily a great Serie A season, although I have to say that the points total the Milan have at 86 is more than they got when they had the title last time. And that was a title that seemed to be theirs for at least um, a good three or four months. So maybe that Milan team was not all that bad in the end. In any case, I want to hear what your thoughts. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!